how I learned to paint, how I learned to be an artist, stories from my life, reflections in the rear view mirror of my life. Grandma's porch. Sit down, relax, enjoy. Here on Grandma's porch. How I learned to paint. Reflections in the rear view mirror of my life. Stories from my life. Hello y'all. I'm Diana Brienne. Well, I'm coming up for air from all the heavier topics for right now, and I decided to start telling little stories from my life. Many I have shared before, but because I have so many people on my channel that I didn't have before, some have not heard these stories. And since I want to kind of come up with lighter topics, I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and um, tell little stories from my life. So how I learned to paint. How did I learn to paint? Well, I've never had a real art lesson of any kind. I don't even think I really took art except for maybe second grade. And so art was not my forte, so to speak. Now, my sister was an artist. She was a brilliant artist, a watercolor artist, but she could draw, she could do so much. She was amazing. And, but for me, I didn't have that talent. I wasn't gifted with that talent, in my opinion. But along the way, and when I, um, my children were really, really small, we didn't have, um, I, I couldn't really get out a lot because they were so small. And if the weather was cold outside, we'd have to put them in their snowsuits. And usually they were in diapers. So by that time we got all three in the snowsuits, we'd have to change a diaper. So we'd have to start all over again. So I didn't go very many places at that time. And so anyhow, um, I had decided I wanted, well, my husband and I had gone to Salado, Texas. And um, we went down to Salado and we went to an art gallery and it was so, in my opinion, pricey. And I said, you know what, I can do this, I can do this. So when we went back, I went to Walmart and I put my three children in the Walmart cart, you know how they have the, the three seater. And I wheeled them around and um, we went to, I bought canvases and paints. I had no idea what to, how to paint. I had no idea what I really needed. So I just bought all kinds of paints and all kinds of brushes and all kinds of canvases and everything. And I went home and started painting. I have to tell you, my paintings were so bad in the beginning that I threw the first several out. And then I began to keep the, the rest of them, but they were nothing to write home about. And to this day, I have some of them and some of them um, are just, um, you know, very precious to me now because they were my very, very early ones. But I was very persistent. And so after my children would be in bed at night, I would go in the kitchen or in the carport because we moved around and we were in different um, house settings. And at that one point, we had a carport and I would put an overhead lamp out there and I would be painting late at night. And I put a lot of time and effort into my paintings. Now I've done other videos on um, my paintings and if you go and you, you know, type in some words about like how, you know, Diana Brienne, how I learned to paint or things like that. So this is not a first time video that I've done, but as you can see, I have a lot, a lot of paintings all throughout my house. Um, you know, now I don't have the lights on, so I don't know if you can really, really see see the paintings, but I have paintings everywhere. And I've been painting, painting, painting 
for a lot of years. You can see there's um, my old uh, pipe organ, or not pipe organ, um, I forget, air, air, air organ, I guess it's called, from, what, from a long time ago, it's an antique. But there's another one up there. I have a lot of paintings. So anyhow, um, I love to paint, I love to paint. And so I just kept painting. And so I don't paint as much now because I'm so busy with my life, um, with uh, going back to college and everything like that. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm really, really busy in my life right now. And But I, I love to paint. It's just part of, you know, part of my journey. And, but, you know, I didn't have a lesson. I still haven't had a lesson. And all these years later, and so this is the key, is that, you know, there's often hidden talents within all of us. All of us, we all have hidden talents that perhaps we have not discovered yet. And sometimes they come out for different reasons in life. Um, that talent came out because I really couldn't get out a whole lot. And I think I was watching the Bob Ross TV shows at the time on TV because they would come on every day and that inspired me to paint. So sometimes a, a, a talent or a gift can emerge for different reasons. And, um, and so that was how I learned to paint. And I just kept painting and painting and painting. Now I have a lot of paintings and, and other videos if you go into, um, there was a video I did about six months ago and I showed all my artwork then. And so um, I love, I just love painting. You know, it's, it's, a, it's just something that, um, that I love to do, that I love to do. And, um, and so, um, you know, we all, we all have talents. And so just remember, you have, you have your talents. And it may not be to be an artist, it may be to be something else, but you have your gifts and your talents. And so throughout life, you may be discovering brand new talents that you haven't even discovered yet. From my house to yours, may God bless you. I hope you like my stories. They're just little snippets from my life. And I hope you like, share, subscribe to all five of my channels, links below, uh, pinned to the top of the comments section. And so from my house to yours, may God bless you. And I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye. to relax and a place to enjoy. Grandma's friend.